everybody, Ron J back again to take a look at another beer. Thanks for swinging by to check out another video. So I switched back to my other camera. I mentioned in the last video that I was doing, I was gonna probably do this just because it wasn't coming in as clear as I wanted it to. And then some of the issues I was having with Google there it seemed, uh, it just wasn't worth it. So what I'll do is I'll share some information about the beer I'm gonna drink here. And if I can, I might do some editing on the editing software, maybe put in some information about the uh, website or if I find this beer out there, maybe share the untapped stuff. I'll have to try to uh, blend it in there. But anyway, I'm taking a look at one from Christian Moorline Brewing. This was actually done in partnership with Quaff Brothers. Both of these are breweries here in Cincinnati. Uh, Quaff is more of a small nano type brewery. And Christian Moorline is kind of that little bit bigger as a microbrewery. They actually have a lager house here on the river as well in Cincinnati. So if you're ever in this area, want to grab a bite to eat and drink some beers, a nice place to check out. But this is what they call a beautiful view or just beautiful view stout. It is a Russian Imperial stout that comes in at 8.2% ABV, 60 IBU. Doesn't really give too much on the bottle, but that picture there is the skyline uh, from part of the skyline here in Cincinnati. And on the back side, just kind of gives you a little detail about the ABV there. And nothing really much more outside their owl, which the owl is the local the logo the logo they put on all of the beautiful view uh beer projects let's go ahead and get it open and get it into a glass and see what this one has to offer now obviously being a stout i'm going to just use a snifter glass here although i could have looked at using probably like a tulip either one of those would have been good for this style get a nice little pour in there now the beer itself comes out pretty decent looking i mean it's a stout right so you're looking really at the dark body and you have the tan head on it head is about a finger and a half so not really to that two finger level uh, i tried to get it up there as best i could so it just didn't pull together the way i would have fully liked but a nice dark brown color not fully jet black but nice uh i guess you could say kind of a wood dark dark wood dark whatever kind of dark wood that is so I do get the malts and I do get the chocolates coming off the aroma. It's got a nice sweetness. I'm picking up some of the caramel. I'm picking up some toffee. Definitely going to tell that it's going to be a malt forward type beer as a stout as always is anyway for the most part. But I wasn't sure if I would pick up any tones on the back end of any of the hops. Not really getting any of that. I'm getting some of the booziness slightly in there but i'm also picking up like a little bit of uh what i call vanilla uh, tangent in there as well as far as the taste now in the taste i'm actually getting a little bit of a thinness in there i'm also picking up a little bit of a vanilla in there as well the carbonation is actually a little bit more carbonated than I would expect to get on a stout, especially in a Russian Imperial stout. It has a slight bit of a seltzer type feel. You get that bitterness on the front and then you do feel that on the back end when you do swallow. Not getting off the tongue as much around the mouth. I mean, it's really kind of a, a thin one to be a Russian Imperial Stout. You'd expect it to have a little bit more body on it than it actually does as far as the mouth coating and the mouth feel. I do get some of the flavors kicking around, but not as strong as I would like. And it doesn't have that kind of uh, decadence that you'll get with some of these type of uh, Russian Imperial Stouts as well. Plays more like a, a regular Stout uh, than a Russian Imperial, in my opinion. Not getting as much of the chocolate and the malt notes in there either in the taste. I, I get on the aroma, but not as much in the taste. Appearance-wise, do get a little bit of lacing taking place. It's not as strong as what I would expect to do. Now, Moorline usually does a pretty good job on their beers. So on this one, it's kind of a little bit disappointing there. When you're doing a Russian Imperial Stout, there's kind of just something you expect with it to have that this one seems to be lacking. Like I said, as a stout, it's okay in that regard, but if you're gonna go Russian Imperial, you have to try to bring that whole package for what a Russian Imperial stout would actually bring as well. 
duration on the flavor, I feel a little bit of that duration, but it is slighter than what so many other ones out there would do. I would say probably a short to average, uh, but closer to a short duration on the flavor. It's not really getting that cheek tingling that I usually expect to get one of these. Um, now, they don't have anything on the bottle as far as the dated information. So again, they should always put the dates on the bottles, right? So that's not on here. Um, so I can't really say if this is something where it might have been an older type bottle, but a Russian Imperial Stout should actually get better with age. And this one does not uh, seem like that might be the case. But yeah, it doesn't have that really that nice velvety type feel that I also get on some of these beers usually. It doesn't have that kind of uh, smoothness that I've come to really enjoy in a Russian Imperial Stout. So... To me, a little bit more overcarbonated than it needs to be, a little bit stronger than it needs to be, and just uh, a beer that's there, but not really all that great. So for me, out of five, I'm going to actually give this one here, in my opinion, I'm going to actually put this down probably at about a 2.25. Just not overly thrilled with this one. Now, looking online, I can say that this one looks like it's getting about an overall of 3.46 on untapped. However... That's out of 263 people. Uh, a couple people had it more than once. Uh, 255 were unique. So 3.46 on a very small sampling. Looking at some of the scrolling down through some of their details. Some people weren't thrown back as much. Some a little bit better. Um, but I do see notes of a little unexpected carbonation out there too. So other people are definitely picking it up. I see one for thinness out there. I just think it, if you were playing this as a regular stout, It'd be better off, but as a Russian Imperial, I think it just falls short. So that's my look at Beautiful View Beer Project Russian Imperial Stout from Moreline in a collaboration with Quaff Brothers. If you've had this before, let me know. It might not really be in anywhere outside Cincinnati, but uh, just a fair beer, but nothing really great at all. Nothing worth hunting down. So that's all I'm going to say about that one. Thanks for checking out the video. I look forward to catching you next time. Keep drinking good craft beers. Cheers.